Hello and welcome to Rhythm Destruction, which is the name of this game. It is a bullet hell rhythm game. It's it kind of reminds me of uh, well, the play style kind of reminds me of things like Dance Dance Revolution or whatever, where you have uh, you know your four directions to push or whatever, however many directions it has. I don't know, but you have those to push. But you also have to control your ship. Now you can't fail the song. Unlike other rhythm games, you can't fail the song by missing notes. You can only fail the song by dying, because it is a bullet hill. Uh, it is quite hard to dodge things. There's quite a few songs, uh, most of them being very difficult. This is a rank 1 song, the final rank 1 song. It's, it's the hardest rank 1, but that means it's also the easiest rank in the game. It's currently 5 ranks. Uh, the 5th rank is only available with a DLC song, which I have. The game itself is $5. One dollar for the DLC, which has a bunch of F-777 or F-777 or however you want to pronounce that um, songs in it. That I play that in the second half of this, which will be entirely game audio if you want to actually hear the game itself. The second half of this video will be entirely game audio. But I wanted to explain some things. Top left, you have your score, your multipliers, etc, etc. Fairly simple. In the top right, you have your chain, which I'm not entirely sure what that does. It's just how many you've hit in a row without missing. And you also have your speed boost, the little blue bar in the top right. It replenishes when you're not boosting, uh, decreases when you're boosting. Obviously, I need to use it more often, but I'm just not used to the game. I've only played like 20 minutes or so. Uh, below that is your lives. You have four lives, technically. You have the three there. But you also have the one you start with, so you actually get four tries, you know, you have three respawns, effectively, is what that means. You, you know how lives work, I imagine. And then you also have a proximity meter, uh, and, well, below that is the proximity meter, and then a bunch of words will pop up based on how well you hit notes, phenomenal being the best, as you might imagine. Uh, you get bonus points for being closer to whatever you're shooting so the game rewards you for being right up in the action which makes it that much more difficult if you're trying to maximize your score because that means you're right up there next to things shooting at you game also has bosses it's a thing the bullets you fire out during bosses don't seem to do anything the only damage you can do is uh on button press which is also the thing i should point out it's a bullet hell that you can only fire when the game tells you you can fire as if the game wasn't difficult enough. It is a very fun game though. I wish it had some more songs. Uh, custom songs is a thing I feel this game can't do because of the way it's set up. You're not gonna be able to do custom songs, so it's all gonna have to be developed specifically for the song. Uh, but at the moment, there's not terribly many songs or five bucks, you know? I find it quite fun. Uh, there's really no video options, whatever resolution it happens to be in when you play it is the resolution it is. You can full screen it, you can window it, I think it plays 720p, which is fine for me because that's what I record in. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the game, it's quite fun. Excuse me, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video where we play, I believe, Viper, which is the hardest song in the entire game, which I am very bad at. It's hard, leave me alone. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.